I want to try to briefly get to a Civil War argument or question that was emailed to me. Um, and, and I kind of want to um, comment as a third party because I don't really share uh, this particular view with anyone that I know. Uh, the question is in regards to the Battle of Gettysburg and it was posed as a question of uh, the South's victory or loss uh, hanging on the decision to take Culp's Hill um, and if Stonewall Jackson had lived after the Battle of Chancellorsville uh, would he have in fact uh, taken Culp's Hill and would that have in fact um, decided a uh, decided the battle for the Confederacy had Stonewall Jackson lived past the Battle of Chancellors had he not been fatally wounded rather at Chancellorsville the decision to take Culp's Hill would be a moot point because had Stonewall Jackson lived uh, Lee would never have raided Pennsylvania uh, and I say raid because um, invasion is actually incorrect. Uh, for it to be an invasion, he would have uh, had an intention uh, of setting up a supply line to go through uh, Maryland over the mountains into Pennsylvania. He never had uh, any such intention, and he didn't have the manpower to even attempt something like that. So it was a raid, uh, and it was intended to inflict damage uh, on some northern armies near the city of Philadelphia so that it would turn uh, popular opinion against the war. That was pretty much um, the goal of the entire raid. The reason I say that they would not have been on it is because Jackson was a very pragmatic general. He was a good general. He was probably top ten. Uh, he was a good tactician, but he was a great fighter. But at the same time, he was extremely practical. And you have to remember that Jackson was not crazy about the earlier incursion into Maryland, uh, which resulted in uh, the Battle of Antietam. Uh, Jackson really was uh, of the mindset that they had to wage a defensive war throughout. Um, and up until that point, Jackson had not left the state of Virginia, uh, he himself or with any of his men. I, I do not believe that they would have raided Pennsylvania. I think Jackson would have talked Lee out of it. I think that Jackson would have convinced Lee or convinced uh, Jefferson Davis to convince Lee uh, to divide his army and send part of the army to Mississippi to relieve the siege at Vicksburg, uh, which was being um, led by Ulysses S. Grant, which tactically would have made a lot more sense because even if the Confederates had won at Gettysburg, it would have been a costly victory regardless, uh, and they still would have had to kind of... Um, forish off the land. They, they couldn't have set up a supply line. Uh, they still would have been more than likely surrounded on two, if not three sides. So uh, it, it was kind of a moral campaign rather than a tactical one, which uh, General Longstreet had always talked about. And after the war, uh, Longstreet was heavily criticized because he was saying in his memoir, memoirs that he had said that all along that it was futile and uh, he was against it and he kept wanting to go around the federal position around the round tops and, and march on Washington and these things um, but there was as much wrong with that plan as there was um, Lee's plan which was to attack the Union Center there was actually a lot wrong with Longstreet's plan of trying to swing around the Union Army because the Union cavalry was out there uh, and they outnumbered the Confederate cavalry who didn't even show up until the second day, uh, which was the famous uh, argument between uh, Jeb Stuart and Robert E. Lee. Um, 
and going back to the original question of the battle, had uh, Stonewall Jackson taken Culp's Hill, let's say for the sake of argument that Stonewall had followed Lee into Pennsylvania and he was at that battle, I, I don't think that taking Culp's Hill would have been anything more than uh, kind of a strategic staging point because he still would have had to attack the Union from the rear, which is exactly what they did on the third day, and it failed mostly because the attacks were not coordinated. Uh, one attack took place early in the morning, and then, of course, Pickett's Charge took place um, in the afternoon on that Sunday. Uh, and another reason, another big reason the attack failed is because the Confederate cavalry uh, was almost completely routed by the Union cavalry trying to attack the Union position from behind, and the Union cavalry having been led by uh, General Armstrong Custer. Uh, which was probably his greatest victory uh, throughout the entire war. So I, I think it is a definite moot point to even say that, that they would have been in Pennsylvania had Stonewall lived. Uh, but again, it, it, you can get into a whole lot of arguments about that. Stonewall, if he had been there, probably would have taken Culp's Hill. But again, I, I don't think it would have amounted to uh, an ultimate victory. Um, I, I do believe, though, had Stonewall been there, he would have coordinated a better attack on the second day Longstreet's attack. Um, it wasn't Longstreet's fault, of course, but it took almost all day to get in position to attack the Round Tops, which were on uh, the Union left, uh, which was the famous battle. And in fact, that was really the key to the entire battle, that position, and uh, General Lee on the third day was still not fully convinced that he shouldn't attack again um, in the same spot, and Longstreet, uh, I think in his memoirs, wrote that he had a hard time getting to sleep because he knew he had to talk Lee out of it because the army was almost completely spent at that point, um, and it's, it's a strange testimony to Robert E. Lee that he would uh, think to do that uh, after it was uh, it was a complete bloodbath. That was the um, position that the wheat field and the peach orchard, uh, Devil's Den, and uh, of course Big and Little Round Top uh, were also uh, key to that Union left position. Anyway, um, that is my opinion. Uh, you can comment on this page uh, if you'd like. If you have a, a, a differing opinion. Um, as far as uh, Stonewall Jackson, uh, had he uh, been alive and had he participated in the Battle of Gettysburg, if it had gone a different way, um, I'd certainly like to hear everyone else's opinion about it. So far, no one has shared this particular opinion uh, with me, so as far as I know, I'm the only one who thinks this. Thank you for listening to my audio blog, and you can stay tuned to this YouTube channel.